Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company and in today's video I'm going to share with you everything that I made using this Sugar Plums 12 by 12 paper pad by Recollections. It is a hot buy from Michaels. In a previous video that I did back in July I shared with you uh, some paper pads that I would be focusing on in the month of July and Sugar Plums was one of those pads that was my focus for Christmas in July. Now that Christmas, uh, excuse me, now that July is here and gone, and we are now in August, I uh, will share with you everything that I made using uh, this paper pad. So I was able to make 121 cards, five envelopes, two photo journals, and three gift bags. And I'm super excited to share with you the gift bags that I made because this was my very first uh, try at making them. Now I will say that it did take me three tries to get to get it just right and I'm going to share the the just right bag with you first. So this one is the one that is absolutely flawless, no errors, no mistakes uh, and I'm just showing you here the cardstock that I brought in and the full size uh, images of the 12 by 12 pattern papers. And this will definitely give you, uh, you know, a, a way to utilize those full sheets. And I brought in my eyelets and uh, as you can see, I don't have any uh, ribbon or string. Uh, or anything like that for, for the bags just yet because I didn't have anything in my stash that matched it. And uh, so until I get to the store and find ones that match, I uh, they will just stay like this. And I, I have uh, some time to uh, find uh, the right uh, color. So this is the very first attempt. And you know, you look at it, it looks, oh, you know, looks good up until that little crease there so uh you know i what happened was is i was trying to bring that front part of the of the of the bag and the side and i was using very strong uh adhesive um, some score tape and i didn't align it right and when i was trying to peel apart it kind of it creased and that's what happened there and then, so I went ahead and tried again. So attempt number two, uh, again, really pretty paper, uh, really loving the, you know, the sentiment here on the bag. And, uh, you know, brought in some pink cardstock to, you know, match the, uh, the pattern paper. And then you get to the back side, and well, look at there, the top left, there's that, crease again so you know I, I I was trying to figure out okay how can I you know align these without getting that without getting those creases so that's when I I did it perfectly on the very first bag that I shared with you so I was super excited that I was able to finally make it work I'm uh, not quite sure what I'll do with those other two bags but I could use them with my immediate family and that would be great so here we are moving on to the two photo journals that I made. Uh, they're pretty much the same and the pattern papers that you see here are six by six cut aparts and you have four to a sheet and there were two sheets and I you know, used all four and then I needed two more for the back part of the journal as you see there. So I used one of the border strips uh, pieces of pattern paper and you'll see it on the back here and that's what I did to um, adhere to the back of the journal like you see here and I didn't add any pictures or you know any any other additions I was just you know getting this I wanted to put this together just to, to show you uh, you know uh, what that looks like and here we're moving on to the envelopes that I created so, you know, halfway through my project, I, you know, I'm like, oh, I could make envelopes. I've got my, you know, envelope punch board. I can use the papers to make coordinating envelopes. 
So I wish I would have thought of this when I made my slimline cards, which I will show you in just a minute. Uh, but this fa la la uh, cut apart was also one of the uh, on one of the papers, and it came with a variety of different cut aparts, whether they were tags or you know just different sizes with different images. So I had two of those uh, same pieces of pattern paper and I made the two envelopes for these two cards. And that glitter card stock was perfect because that's also from Recollections and it's a spring pack and it matched my Sugar Plums papers perfectly. And there I was just showing you that I added some adhesive to the top part of the envelope and it's all ready to go. And uh, I just have to peel that off when it's time to seal the envelope. Now here I made some uh, slimline envelopes to go with my slimline cards. And I did follow a tutorial for these envelopes. These were not made on my, on my uh, punch board. I did use my uh, scoreboard for, for these and I will link the video in my description box below. And again, uh, I ran out of the ornament paper and if I would have thought of this idea earlier when I was making these slimline cards, I would have had coordinating envelopes for uh, these uh, four cards. But it is what it is and it worked out anyway and I'm you know really happy with the, the result. So this card here, uh, the, the paper, um, that was actually on one side of the 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper. And then that pink there that I'm showing you was the rest of the paper on that ornament sheet. And I really wanted the ornaments to be the focal point of my card. So I trimmed it down, attached it here, and then I brought in some vellum and I used, uh, you know, I heat embossed using some um, sparkly, uh, embossing powder that I have in my stash. And then after I made those first two slim lines, I had these two pieces left over. And it was perfect because they were three by four. And I brought in Jess's uh, template for the slim line cards to make, uh, to attach these three by four uh, pieces of paper. And then I just added a sentiment onto the front of the card. And now I'm moving into the uh, cards, the 121 cards that I made. And I, the majority of those, I did use uh, Crafty L's uh, sheet load of cards. And again, uh, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know that I donate a lot of my cards. And this first batch of Christmas cards uh, will be for donation. So I'm starting here with the September 2021 sheet load of cards. And here I was able to make a total of eight, uh, which the sheet load calls for. And I used two sheets of the pattern paper and I made, you know, four with, you know, one design and then four using the other. So you're just pretty much swapping uh, the pieces of pattern paper. And I brought in my Sizzix Snowflake die and added that to uh, the front with my, um, with my sentiment. Next, I have the August 2022 sheet load of cards and this yields 12 cards and I did make a total of 12 and here I have three sets of four cards each so I'm just I'm separating them into my uh, three piles and you'll see how they become three in just a minute here I add the two because I realized those two are all the same so I just made it one pile so you're just combining, you know, the different papers to, uh, you know, to get a variety of, you know, when you make the, the sheet load. And I really like this uh, cute sentiment stamp that's uh, close to my heart. And the 
those stripes there on the bottom was also in that same stamp set and uh, I, I added that to the bottom. I thought it was really cute. But you can see that that pink Versafine Claire really uh, you know, goes well with the pinks in those papers. This is the July 2022 sheet load and this yields 12 cards as well. And again, uh, you know, putting them in their respective piles. And I made three sets of four cards each. And again, just changing up the pattern paper, I brought in my Pops of Color from scrapbook.com. That matched, again, the papers perfectly. And I also used my Tim Holtz Distress Oxide uh, uh, Violet uh, ink too for the sentiment. Here we have the June 2022 sheet load and this is a special edition because it is a double card fun fold. And if you haven't tried this sheet load, I highly recommend it. It's, this is definitely a fun, fun card to make. And it's just so different. It's unique from you know what you're used to uh, having when you make your A2 size. So it opens to the right, it opens to the left. Again, I was able to use three pieces of the pattern paper. Again, brought in my pops of color and used my pink VersaFine Claire ink for my sentiment. Really, really cute. Here we have the June 2021 sheet load and this yields eight cards and this is another special edition uh, using your six by six papers and uh, again because my paper pad was 12 by 12 uh, i actually doubled the uh, quantity because i cut my two pieces of pattern paper into six by six uh, size papers so i was able to get 16 versus eight and here I used my black VersaFine ink and I heat embossed that with clear embossing powder to give it that extra shine. And again, I brought in that uh, glitter cardstock uh, to mat the pattern papers. I just, I really just love how that glitter cardstock matches this paper pad. It was like it was meant for it. Just so pretty. Now we have the February 2021 sheet load and this yields nine cards. And I did make a total of nine and I am putting them into the three piles of three. Again, three pieces of pattern paper and what I liked about this sheet load is it helped me use my uh, cut aparts that were the two and a half by two and a half size. And they were all different images, whether it be ornaments, houses, sentiments, trees, uh, cookies, um, you know, they had, there, there were a variety and I knew I wanted to use them. So all I did was I uh, moved my sentiments and put it on the banner strip that you see there. So definitely a great way to use the uh, cut aparts. And I'm just showing you the different designs on those cut aparts.
here we're moving into the October 2020 and this yields eight cards however I made six at this point I was definitely getting down to the last uh, few sheets of uh, the paper and uh, I still had several of the uh, cut aparts left so I substituted that one piece of patterned paper for my cut apart and it worked out perfect and then I added the sentiment on the bottom just like you see there on the sketch and then last but certainly not least is the March 2021 sheet load and this yields 12 cards and I did make a total of 12 and so I have you know two sets of six cards each and uh, I you know used my seasonal foliage uh, cuddle bug die set that I have uh, that is um, unfortunately no longer available uh, it is a retired set and um, I heat embossed my sentiment with the VersaFine Claire Pink ink and uh, used uh, the scrapbook.com uh, colored cardstock paper pads that are four and a quarter by five and a half size and they match these papers perfectly. And then again, I added some uh, silver uh, pops of color uh, to the front. And now the rest of the cards here are, these are the uh, cut aparts that were, I had a, a sheet that I mentioned earlier where they were different sizes. And I added some sentiments to these as that, that was blank. And I heat embossed it with gold embossing powder. And then there I used my scrapbook.com Jolly Die and added the letters uh, there on the front. And then I used my 3D snowflake embossing folder uh, to make that card front. Now these two cards are super cute because uh, those were a full 12 by 12 size and that plate of cookies was actually in the bottom right corner. And uh, the blue that you see uh, there where the stamp is uh, stamped on, uh, that I, I trimmed that down to fit on the card base and then I fussy cut the plate of cookies out and then I adhered it to the front. Super easy. Just, it, it, I just let the, you know, the image just do the talking. It was just, it's perfect. And I was able to make two of those. And then here I had more of the border strips and I, you know, was trying to use those up as well. And I've got four here. And again, just, I cut them down to fit the, uh, the full five and a half uh, inch size uh, of the A2 card. I wanted it to cover the whole uh, card base. And then I have two more here. And this one I, I actually trimmed down to four and four by five and a quarter and I left those blank but I could put I could add a sentiment on there if I wanted to I'm not quite sure if I will do that or not so here is I realized that I I do have another sheet load of cards that I failed to share uh, when I was doing the other sheet loads uh, and I'll share the those with you in, in just a minute. Here I'm bringing out the snowflake cards. These were a lot of fun. These are definitely one of my favorites here. And I made four. Two of them are A2 size and the other two are five by seven. And I brought in my Sizzix uh, snowflake die and cut that out. And then I used the gold embossing powder for the sentiment. And I really used, I, I wanted to use the gold foil to pop out you know, uh, to pop more of that gold that you see uh, in the patterned paper. 
and I also used uh, some foam to add to the back of the snowflake to give it that extra pop for some dimension. And then these two are also five by seven. And again, I had those papers uh, that was 12 by 12. Uh, it had branches up along the whole one side. And I wanted that to you know, be a part of that focal point. So I trimmed it enough to fit on the uh, A7 size card. And then I used my Spellbinders Joy die. And I cut the letters out in white shimmer to match the white branches um, on the uh, pattern paper and then the gold foil to bring out the gold that you see in the stars. And that was a lot of fun. Here using up again some of those, more of those uh, cut aparts and I used my scrapbook.com Merry Christmas sentiment die and bringing in that snowflake embossing folder for my card front. And then the Mary die from scrapbook.com. And then I used some scraps to cut out the word Mary to match the border of that uh, cut apart. And then these are the rest of the mini stone lines that I made. And this one, this card here with the white uh, tree branches, I'm looking to see if I had another one. For some reason, I thought I made two when I really only made one. And I had that piece of paper. It was, I only may have trimmed it down an eighth of an inch to fit on this, uh, the mini slim line. It was perfect. And then I added the Mary uh, sentiment using some of that pink glitter cardstock. And these four cards here, these were fun. These were super, super simple. Again, those were a full 12 by 12 size, and they, the houses were on the bottom. So I cut it to three inches by six, and I was able to get four of those uh, pieces. And again, you know, when you look at it as a 12 by 12, that those houses go, you know, all the way across. So the fact that I could cut them in half and make, you know, mini slim lines with them and then just add a stamp, you know, add a sentiment, uh, very simple. And again, you just, you know, you let the images uh, do all the talking and let that be your focal point. And that's what I did there. More of those cut aparts and, uh, you know, again, bringing in my Mary sentiment and using the embossing folder, my Snowflake 3D embossing folder. And then lastly, I brought in another, a different Snowflake embossing folder that I had and uh, I had that ornament uh, cut apart and added the Mary on the bottom. Super easy. And then here are the, uh, the, the last set of sheet load. And this is uh, from January 2020. And this yields 12 cards. And I, again, had a sheet of tags uh, you know that is part of the pad and you know I wanted to use them on the cards uh, so a lot of them uh, the majority of them did not have any sentiments so I you know brought out some of my scraps of white cardstock and I added the sentiment and then depending on uh, the image that was on the tag uh, helped me place the sentiments on the card so you, you see that house there the sentiment was perfect to go above it so that you could see uh, the majority of the house. Now you've got the Christmas tree, you've got some ornaments, and uh, I believe um, snowflakes maybe? You know, a snowflake on top of a Christmas tree. And here I have two that already have uh, sentiments on it, so I didn't have to worry about adding sentiments to those two cards. All right, friends, this wraps up another video. And I hope that this has inspired you to bring out 
any Christmas paper pad that you have or any other Christmas or any other paper pads that you have that you haven't dove into yet. Uh, again, uh, I was able to make a total of 121 cards, five envelopes, two photo journals, and three gift bags. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and uh, hit that uh, subscribe button and click that bell for notifications and you'll know when the next video comes out. So until my next video, everyone, I really hope that your day is a crafty one. Until then, take care and peace. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.